to hear from createyourfuture.co. So today we have Erica joining us. Hi, Erica. Hi, Amanda. Hey, guys. Erica is a coach here at Create Your Future, and we've got a success story from one of her clients and how she turned around um, from the hot and cold behavior to really starting to make some progress in her relationship. So, yeah, she's going to read the success story. And then, of course, we are going to go over some key points. So if you are experiencing your specific person having hot and cold behavior, you're going to be able to take something from this video and apply it in your life to start changing that. So, yes, welcome, Erica. Let's hear the story. Awesome. Let's start. So it says, hi, Erica. I hope everything is going as well for you as it is going for me. I intended to be one of your success stories, and I am happy to report that I am. So I think that's super important, right? That's what you tell, you know, you tell in every one of your videos, like, you know, intend mm -hmm. that when you hear a success story, I'm going to be the next one, right? And she said her goal, boom, <laughs> right? Exactly. It helps to reinforce, again, what you're going for, you know? And, and guys, that's why we do, I just want to point this out, that's why we do these success stories, because you want to focus on what you want, and you want to focus on things that are good. Fill your mind with it, like, bring it all in. Program yourself in a positive way. Second thing I want to touch on is repetition. Yeah, we do repeat the same points on this channel a lot, but there's two reasons why we do it. One, repetition, so you learn it, so you learn it, so you learn it. Second thing is, is the law of attraction is very simple. We're not going to overcomplicate it. It's really basic, it, at the basic core of it. Once we repeat it and you understand it, the second reason why we repeat it is so you remind yourself because, you know, sometimes it just takes reminding yourself that you are God and to, you know, everyone's you pushed out and boom, you know, and also these success stories are like a catalog. <laughs> you know, I know, it, I, also, I like to think of, you know, the law of gravity, right? It works for everyone. So I really believe when I'm hearing a success story, I'm next. I can do the same thing because the law also works for me. It works for everyone, just like the law of gravity. Right. Exactly. 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 Love it. Awesome. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, as you know, I came across LOA in April after going through a rough time with my SP. I especially like Amanda and the team's channel because you explain things so easy and really help understand how it applies on one's daily life. As soon as I found LOA, I felt like I had finally received my Howard's letter, and I was indeed a witch after all. I just knew without a doubt that what Neville Goddard taught was true. I didn't even have to do the small list to convince myself, even though I do I do them just for fun. So I think she said something super important, right? You really have to know that you are, you know, you are powerful. You are a powerful being. You are God of your reality, and, you know, God has no limits, right? So really feel very empowered and use that power to create every single aspect of your life right because we're constantly creating no matter what you know what and that's just exactly it so some ways that i look at it is like that my subconscious mind is the genie and the lamp like aladdin and i get what i want um i love harry potter as well and guess what guess what yeah. yes you know what i do have harry potter powers we all do we have a magic wand it's our so it's our thoughts right and we create what we want, right? So very much so. You know what? We do have Harry Potter um, powers. We can make somebody create something. We can manifest things. Like, we have it. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think we talked about it before, right? I really believe that your thoughts, your affirmations is like having a magic wand. So use that magic wand to create a beautiful life, right? Oh, yeah. Money, coffee people saying things, people doing things, anything you want, anything, you know, it's crazy what you can, you know. And when you feel very confident and empowered, things happen easier for you as well. That's why I tell my clients, have fun with it. Exactly, 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 yeah. I started applying everything you talked about and immediately started seeing changes in my life. I manifested selling my car for the price I wanted and getting a raise at work by setting intentions, making affirmations, and sticking to my mental diet on a daily basis. That's also super important, right? Once you actually apply the knowledge that you have, you know, and you're consistent and persistent, 
things happen. They have to, right? Exactly. Exactly. No, absolutely. So, you know, yeah, it's all about mental diet. And, you know, and that's one thing is we want to set our intentions, set our goals, and then we want to stick to only holding thoughts that are going to be, get us closer to that, right? And I think it's important to um, recognize that, you know what, having negative thoughts come up when you're focusing on something isn't necessarily a bad thing. When you make a declaration to say, look, at, you know what, I want to raise at work. And then you think, oh, but maybe I wasn't good enough. No, I am good enough. You, you know, it's okay because that your brain is basically saying you made a declaration for something and I'm going to show you everywhere where it's not lining up. I just need you to deal with these and to change them over. So, you know, let's start changing the way we're looking at when those negative thoughts come up and getting excited about being able to flip them because being able to flip them gives us an opportunity to actually create it the way we want to. Right. Absolutely. And what I believe is that you just have to say, this is what I want and really believe that you can have it. Right. And that's where faith comes in. Have faith in the fact that you will always receive. Right. But if you go back to questioning, right, that question mode that is negative, like, oh, what if it doesn't happen? What if like I'm not good enough? What if, what if never, you know, question things in a yeah. negative way, because then you're, you know, you're not going to progress. Right. Exactly. And you bring up an interesting point. Okay. So you don't necessarily have to believe in your intentions, but you have to believe in the law. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in quantum physics and the Planck scale of pure potentiality. You have to believe. Exactly. You have to believe in there's a God. You have to believe in whatever is answering your prayers. You have to believe that that is going to be answered. Because if you don't believe, it's going to sound like this. Well, I, you know, I intend that they call me. Oh, they're not going to call me. Oh, but my thoughts create. No, but do they? I mean, how does it work? I don't think there's a thought. You know what I mean? Like, this is not a mental diet, or at least not a mental diet of living from the end of getting what you want, right? So, like, the extent of my mental conversation is, well, you know, I intend for Jerry to call me. Oh, maybe he won't. Yeah, of course he will. Everyone's me pushed out. He's totally going to do it. Okay, done. Like, <laughs> he'll fight over, you know? So, you've right. got to have that, belief, right? Because yeah. it's a block to even question the law of attraction to begin with, right? Exactly. Yeah. And you end that way. No, of course, he's going to call me. Period. That's why I like to say period, meaning I stop there. I don't go back to questioning and questioning it again. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And she brought up a really good way to to get us is to create that small list, even though she already believed she didn't need to to convince herself, but she just did it for fun. But it also helps. I mean, I've been doing this forever. And I still do this. Like something happened today and I was like, oh my goodness. I'm like, there we go. I'm going to be pushed out. And I'm just smart enough. <laughs> it's always nice to see those things too. <laughs> right. And I also believe, right? I believe that when you put pen to paper, it's, you know, it's, it, there's magic in there, right? So, and it again goes back to believing, right? You, if you believe that whatever you write down or what you script manifest, or if you believe that, you know, by imagining something, it manifests, or if you, if you really believe that your affirmations manifest, it's all about the belief, right? Right, exactly, exactly. Awesome, okay. So after getting these results, I knew I could do it easily, but I decided to get coaching for two reasons. One, it helps to talk about what you are manifesting with someone who understands it and has experience with manifesting. And number two, you really help in identifying blocks right away. So it's like getting a free boost. Uh, so as we discussed in our first session, I was experiencing hot and cold behavior from my SP. And the mini goal was to get her to spend the weekdays with me. So last week, she had to run errands on Tuesday and asked me to go with her. She did it again on Thursday, even spending the night with me. Then on Friday, she said she wanted to go to lunch and I wanted to tag along for the rest of the, of the afternoon. On Saturday, she posted an Instagram in which I was in, which had never happened before. And Sunday, she came over to spend the night again. She was also super affectionate. I am celebrating reaching my mini goal by gifting myself a Hermione's wand so I can wave it when doing my intentions to feel even more powerful. <laughs> Thanks for everything and the great content in the channel. Yeah, I'm so happy. 
Thank you so much. And it's so wonderful to hear that you created something. Like, we're so proud of you. We so actually we, we want each and every one of you guys to be successful. Like, we seriously do. This is what we do here because it feels so good. You know what? I really love, too, that she pointed out two things, and, and I appreciate you for this, is that you pointed out the two reasons why you decided to get coaching was, one, it helps to talk about what you're manifesting with someone who understands it and has experience with manifesting, and two, we do help you to find your blocks right away. So it is getting a boost. Like, you know, I've said this time and time again, every once in a while I'll be in the car with Andrew and I'll be talking about something and I'll be complaining. And of course, any complaint is pretty much block. And I can just see him melt. And then, you know, and then, you know, he'll say something like, maybe you should watch these this video that this girl makes, you know, meaning me, right? <laughs> and then in that moment, I realize, ooh, like he's right. I'm not, I'm not going. So sometimes, you know, we don't even listen to what we're saying. We don't realize what we're saying is, is a block, you know? And, you know, I think that's really something because but once you know what your blocks are, you can speed this up. Like, obviously, it's, that's the name of the game. Identify the block, change it into an intention, focus on that, you can shift it immediately, you know? And I think that's the, the biggest thing here that we bring to the table, right? Absolutely. And like, you just did it with me a couple of minutes ago before this call. Like we were talking, and you're like, "Oh, you need to change that." And, oh, like you're so right. <laughs> you know, I mean, this is exactly it. You know, it's like, you know, and and it's so simple once you see it. But sometimes we get so in our stories that you know we don't realize that you know we're creating that. So you know, a couple of things that you can do is I'm always big on the writing out all your 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 complaints. You know, and then changing them into positive intentions or. You know, talking, bouncing it off a trained coach is really good. You know, you don't want to bounce it off a friend that's just going to be like, yeah, they, yeah, they're no good to you. You don't want to do that, right? <laughs> We're not about creating things even worse here, but you know, it's like taking a look. You know, like I, you know, what I used to do is I used to write out my whole entire story, and then I would circle the things that I wanted to change in there because they just I was like, oh, really? Why would I think that? You know, but I don't question. Don't beat yourself up. Just change it. Absolutely. Now she said something super important too. Like we set a mini goal, right? We like mm. set mini goals that feel achievable to you. You focus on that mini goal, right? And once it manifests, then it gives you that confidence, that boost to now work on another mini goal, but they're all, you know, heading towards that end goal, right? That maybe from where you are right now, it feels like farther up, right? But you know, at the end, like for example, marriage, right? Oh, that's my future husband. I'm going to marry that man. But right now, I'm just maybe working on, you know, better communication or, right, whatever it is, your mini goal. But to have an end goal yeah. and then create mini goals that feel achievable to you yeah. from who you are, it's super important, right? Yeah. All those mini goals are all building towards that big goal because, okay, I get the big goal is marriage. Okay. But what does your marriage look like? Are you talking every day? Do you eat every day? Does he make you a priority? You know, does he worship the ground you walk on? Like, what does this look like? All those mini goals are actually creating to be puzzle blocks to create that big goal because marriage is a very vague term. A lot of people have good marriages. Some people have bad marriages. Some people are in marriages they don't want to be in. Some people aren't sure what they're in, if they can call it a marriage, but they have a ring. I mean, what does your marriage look like to you? You know, and all these mini goals of, you know, of, of what, you know, you're going to create now and with the communication, I mean, that's going to be part of your marriage. You create now, we have great communication. We see each other every day. We have dinner together. Those are all things that you're going to create as part of the marriage. So, for example, me and Andrew, when we were dating, one thing I created that every day we had dinner together and we would sit down every day and have dinner together. And to this day, we live together and we sit down and have dinner together every single day because that is part of, that was part of the big picture. You know, now he doesn't come over and have dinner with me every day. Now, obviously we live together. So he comes right. home, thankfully he comes home every day. <laughs> but so it's all part of it. Like, I created that he texted me every day that we had great communication. So when he goes to the office, he texts me all the time. He's out of town right now. I've woken up every morning to like five, six text messages from him, you know, and, um, you know, yesterday he was texting me like crazy, you know, and I was ignoring him, you know, like she was on the other foot, buddy, you know, but you know, these are all things that I've created even, you know, as we were building up to this and they all fit into the big picture of what our relationship looks like. So, you know, don't think of it as, you know, it's not living from the end. It's very much living from the end, right?
Absolutely. And I think you also manifested to for him to be, you know, for you to be a priority in his life because, you know, a lot of people are like, well, he, I don't think, I think he doesn't communicate with me as much because he's busy or because he has kids or I'm like, no, if you say I am a priority and no matter what's going on in his life, he still has time for me, then you're creating that reality. For example, my boyfriend, he's a super, super busy man, but no matter how busy he is, he's always checking in. Hey, how are you? How's your day going? I hope you're having a good workout or whatever. He's always, always, always checking in. So exactly. Sometimes, and you know, everyone knows that Andrew's a lawyer. Sometimes I wonder when he's in court, if he's actually sitting there under the bench texting, because how does he find time to text me? <laughs> Exact court, but he does. Just, just the, the judge bang the gavel. <laughs> Prosecutor, what are you doing? You're counsel, what are you doing? <laughs> you texting your girlfriend? And hold on, Your Honor. I gotta see how she's a priority to me now. <laughs> Exactly, but you said your intention, right? <laughs> you said your intention, that's your assumption, that you're super important to him, that you're a priority to him, that no matter what he's doing, right, even if the judge is in front of him, he's still texting you, right? right? Exactly. It also great that you're good enough and you deserve to be made a priority. And you are good enough to start getting what you want now. You know, I think that's also really, really incredibly important, you know? Yes. Yeah. Now, something super important, she was talking about hot and cold, right? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Hot and cold cool. behavior. This video. <laughs> <laughs> so, I really think that for the, you know, the hot and cold behavior, what happens? You're assuming two things of that same person, right? You're setting your intentions, for example, oh, he calls me on the all the time, I am a priority in his life, right? And then at the same time, Maybe you're assuming, well, I don't think he, he cares about me that much because I haven't talked to him in forever, right? So you have to pick one version of that person and stay strong in the assumption, like, yeah. no, I'm important for this person. He's always checking in. We have amazing communication. You have to stay in that mm -hmm. assumption. That way you're not going to be manifesting the hot and cold behavior because really your mm -hmm. assumptions are so powerful. Your thoughts are so powerful. Yeah. So if you're thinking that, you know, he's both. Yeah. That's why you get the hot and cold behavior, right? Exactly. You've nailed it. So it could be coming from reacting. Reacting will give hot and cold behavior. Um, past story and assumptions of the person will give hot and cold behavior. So you're right. I mean, let's go back to, I posted a video recently about how not to react. Like, I mean, start making meaning of things mean something good and that'll actually stop the reacting and stop the hot and cold behavior. Go back and dump out everything and recreate the person. That'll stop the hot and cold behavior as well. You know, so, you know, get, get all the old story out, recreate the old story, the old person. You know, there's, there's many ways to stop the hot and cold, but you've nailed it, Erica. It's, you know what, doing intentions that they're going to be one way, but then going and falling back on those old assumptions. And there you go. Great. So. Exactly. Yeah. I like to describe my person as the perfect partner that I want in my life. For example, mm -hmm. he's loyal to me. He's uh, hardworking. He's, uh, I don't know, like. Uh, you know, I'm a priority in his life, right? All those assumptions, like every day, I assume that he's that person and I completely let go of whatever had happened in the past, even if it was five seconds ago, right? Because the only thing we have is the right. now moment and that now moment is your clean slate. Assume that that person is that perfect person for you, right? That loves you, values you, respects you, you're important to him, right? Etc. and only assume that. And then you see, when you change your assumptions about someone, that person has to change. That's why you have exactly. something negative from them, right? About them. <laughs> exactly. And you know what? Something goes to my mind, which I just have to say, um, you know, is, okay, so how to not react, okay? And this is how a really good way to recreate people. And I just, like, thought of it now, I have to say it. So when, for instance, okay, they didn't call you, okay, when you want them to call you. Okay. And um, say, for instance, they said they call you after work and they haven't called you yet. Now, your old thinking would be, oh my goodness, you know what? I'm not a priority. They don't care about me. They're doing this again. Now, in those moments, you've got to stop yourself and say, okay, if he was the version of him that I would want him to be, what would my thoughts be right now? My thoughts would be like, oh, you know what? He just got off work. No big deal. He's probably just a few minutes late. He's going to call me any minute now. Okay. And stick to that new story. So in those moments, when you find yourself going down that old thought pattern, you have to take yourself out of there and you have to say, if I already had what I wanted right now, meaning 
he makes me a priority. What would my thoughts be right now? And you've got to catch yourself in those little tiny moments. I can't stress how important this is. Like it, those moments are really what creates, you know, the feeling. And in those moments, those thoughts, sometimes you don't even finish them. They're like half the thoughts that will on by. And next thing you know, they show up. <laughs> you have them so many times, right? Like, uh, here we go again. Like that's all you need to say. Boom, you're triggered. Your brain's like, oh, I can't get from here. I already know where we're going with this. We're going down the road of not being respected again, right? You know, and so you've got to intervene in that. You've got to say no. You've got to take those. You've got to rewire that. At first it hurts. Yes, I know it hurts. It's going to be like, Ugh. but once you start doing it, your brain will actually physically rewire itself down the new path, okay? And and that's what you're doing. So you've got to have that fight. You've got to have that minute of being uncomfortable. You've got to intercept those thoughts. And a really great way to do it is to, you know, I'm going to plug coaching is, you know what, talk to a coach, get a list of your intentions because though having those pre-ready to go for those moments is going to be so much more help to you because in those moments, you've already got to fight that static. At least you know what to say. You're armed. You're ready to go, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think I really believe that being the queen of positive assumptions or the king of positive assumptions <laughs> is super important. Never assume that someone's actions or lack of actions mean that, you know, that they're rejecting you. Assume mm -hmm. like, oh, no, he's just busy. Maybe he's just, maybe he stopped somewhere to get me flowers. All right. Always assume something positive instead of, oh, we always tend to go to worst case scenario. Now you have mm -hmm. to be your best friend, right? And mm -hmm. You know, have positive thoughts and say no don't think that way he loves you he adores you like exactly loves you and adores you yep exactly thank you so much erica so just to recap okay guys you know what we want to make sure that we are living from the end creating those mini goals you know let's get on top of our thoughts let's make sure that we assume the positive okay and when it comes to the hot and cold behavior let's catch those thoughts and let's catch ourselves in those moments and always go from the end of what we want them to be, okay? So always assume that they are the person that you want them to be. And it may be those moments, you know, all those little tiny moments. You shift enough of them and it's really going to move over to the reality that you want, right? So Absolutely. You know. Consistency. Persistence. Persistence. And having the faith and the fact that things always work out for you, that you're a god of your reality, that, right? That you exactly. always get what you want, period. And God of your reality. So many good little nuggets in this video for sure. And, <laughs> you know, oh, amazing. So, guys, thank you so much for being here today with us, Erica. Oh, thank you, man. And thank you guys for listening. And, guys, you know what? Erica's still having a sale on coaching. So, definitely check out the link in the description below. She will help you find her blocks. Definitely 100%. You will be a success story because that's what we do here. We create people getting what they want because we want you to get what you want because then we get what we want, which is you getting what you want. Like it's a win-win for everybody, right? So absolutely. <laughs> hey guys, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.